The Miami Heat. <laughs> Good question. Tyler Hero's injury. Uh-huh. What Tony is saying is they would have been better off not making the playoffs. They would have been better off having even a microscopic chance at Wembenyama than playing these games that ultimately are going to give us a little more season, but they have next to zero chance of actually emerging from uh, this playoff run in general uh, later, if not now, because maybe they can do something against Milwaukee if Antetokounmpo is out for the entire series, but they need a slew of injuries to important players in order to advance all the way to the finals where they will also get slaughtered. Well, four to six weeks. That means he'll be back by the finals, right? That's so that's exactly that's, that's there a you glass go. half full way. I mean guess what talking about. <laughs> no no what are you talking about? Like the the reality is that the Wembenyama sweepstakes, the ping pong balls are so ridiculously heavily loaded towards the, the worst teams. They would have been Basically, the best team in the in the uh, in the lottery, and that would have given him a a point five percent chance. You're saying there's a chance, though. There's a oh, five percent chance. Is, like, is it a, is there more of a point five percent chance of them advancing in the playoffs? No, I think there's a zero percent chance of them advancing in the playoffs. What does advancing mean to you? Winning this series. I don't know if it's zero percent. Giannis looked like he was in a lot of pain, man. Come on. He looked like he was in a lot of the pain. Guy, the guy destroyed his leg and then won four straight and made you go yeah, to the, Milwaukee. The last time we saw him injured, he did win the championship. But I, I'm not a doctor. I don't know whether Giannis is going to be healthy. Backs are pretty important in that sport. <laughs> a- absolutely. But, you know, game one is so incredibly important in terms of setting the tone for the series. Uh, you got one on the road. You got the split. So, essentially, you got all you needed. And then here's Stugatz the thing. was very excited about You got a house money game, game two. I mean, Stugatz this is. Stugatz said uh, that all of the, mm-hmm. half the games, the series has already started. It's a record. It's the biggest, I'm telling you, it's the best opening weekend in NBA playoff history. Uh... Now, you had eight game ones and four of the series have started already. I mean, that's a record. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Road teams winning everywhere. The, I mean, well, you know, those first couple of games on Saturday were a little rough. But, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. The best-case scenario for a road team, obviously, is to leave the first two games 2-0. That's wild, right? The next best thing is to leave 1-1, but you won game one. Because all the pressure now is on Milwaukee. They've got to figure out what they're going to do if their star player can't go. Bud is still up to Bud bud tricks when you talk about he had a lineup out there with Ingles. Matthews and Crowder all out there at the same time on the floor, which was insane to me. They kept playing the drop coverage against Bam, and Bam punished them for it. Jimmy punished them for it. This is a classic Bud here. He, he doesn't adjust. He does the same thing he did all regular season long, and it's not going to work. I'm not saying that the Heat are going to win this. I'm not saying they're going to win this, but I'm saying you already started off to a great start here. And here's the thing, Tony, the last thing to keep in mind. If they beat Milwaukee, guess who's on the other side of that? Who? Either the Knicks or the Cavs. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden it's like, okay, now I feel a lot more comfortable about that route. Make it to the ECF. Mm Mm-hmm. Please. What does that stand for? What has sports become, by the way, that we don't want to play games anymore because people get hurt? Oh, let's not play in the playoffs. Let's, let's not make it to the playoffs just in case Tyler Hero breaks But it wasn't about him getting it said hurt. let's lose so we have a no. 0.05% uh-huh. chance That's of it. making it and getting of the number one of pick. Getting, of getting one of the best generational players we've ever seen. The cowardice is the cowardice. unbelievable Pop behind there, these people. Please. How could you not want to compete in the playoffs? How could you not want to go to the playoffs? They win game one, and you're still defending a take of, oh, we shouldn't have been to the playoffs? That's completely insane. You guys are spoiled, oh. honestly. Like, you're spoiled that your team makes it every year to the playoffs. That you're like, you know exactly. what? I just want to sit it out this year. Tony, I don't want to go to the Tony, playoffs. What, I don't what want a chance. What constitutes, all right, this was a successful playoff run. Is winning one game against the Bucks no, I'm considered not, a successful I'm, play? What if they no, beat the Bucks? That wasn't my question. If they my beat question the is, Bucks, I'd be surprised. I'd be very, very not surprised. Not surprised. Giving them a 0% What's chance to win just for you? Winning, winning that first season. That first Seri- series. That Who first cares series. what Tony thinks, though? So yeah. they're in a great spot to win that series. They won game away. one on the road. I Put mean. it on the poll, Juju, at Levitard Show. Who cares what Tony thinks, yes or no? I know, Dan, you care about this. When that ball got kicked out of the corner and then all of a sudden you saw that left hand go up, 
Inglés. <laughs> I do pronounce his name wrong all the time because it's Spanish for English, and I don't pronounce it Ingles. I just pronounce it Joe Inglés. In fairness to Tony, we are all lashing out at him because Mike Ryan just isn't here right now. Yeah. But He'll when be, he is here, he will be the target. He'll be here in uh, a moment. I did want to bring up a couple of things, though, uh, related to this Heat game because Miami shot better than it has all season in a game. Shot 60% from three, shot 60% from the field. That's more points than the Heat have ever scored in a playoff game. The Bucks, meanwhile, a very good shooting team, shot 24% from three. And for a while there, it was the worst shooting performance that they have had all season. But I wanted to ask you, Amin, a couple of different things. Because I think what Tony does is what a lot of sports fans do, is they'd rather put on, as he said, their GM hat than watch playoff games. They'd rather just make the next transaction and love that Windhorst is saying Damian Lillard might be available <laughs> to the Heat uh, this offseason. Oh God, another one of these offseasons. But the, the <laughs> other question I wanted to ask you, I mean, is uh, I know people don't like, a lot of people do not like Reggie Miller as an announcer. Right. But in what world does he come by saying that the Miami Heat losing Tyler Hero is more important than the Bucks losing Giannis? In – in Reggie's defense. Oh, my God. There's Reg no defense. There is. No, there's no defense. Let my boy cook. Hold up. Let my boy cook. What Reggie was referring to was the idea that uh, Tyler is out for the series, whereas Giannis is day-to-day. -day. That's what he was referring to. He wasn't referring to it just in general. Giannis diminished for that team is vastly more important than Tyler anything. Giannis as a lesser player – Giannis, I don't think it's a coincidence Giannis left the game and all of a sudden they couldn't shoot. You're saying Giannis at 50% is more detrimental to the Bucs than Tyler Hero I, not I, being there I, at I all? I, I think I agree with you. I, I disagree with that. In the sense of this, the Heat struggled to score. I mean, yesterday they scored and they shot well, but overall this season, Tache, you'll back me up on this, they've struggled to score points in general and specifically from beyond the three-point line. And they don't really have a lot of play creation outside of Jimmy Butler and Bam from time to time. So while Tyler Hero is nowhere near the caliber of Giannis Antetokounmpo, what Tyler provides is irreplaceable for the Miami Heat, whereas what Giannis provides, even in a diminished role, is like is you know they they can survive. What happened yesterday? They're not that bad of a team without him, but also. Like, you know, it's one of those They're things. the heat without him. Did they're, you see how good? And, they're 11 and 8 without him, and you're telling me that Tyler Hero uh, is that important. They were bad at offense with Tyler Hero out there. They were bad at threes this year with yes. Tyler Hero playing. That's Did you see how good Kevin Love looked when Giannis oh went out? God. I mean, that's the best game Kevin Love is that little playoff savvy right it there. Was, it was. Kevin uh, Love was good before Giannis <laughs> went out. He drew two charges. Like, that's oh what he's God. there to do. That's the best game he's in the, the heat uniform. the king of the charges, man. Right <laughs> place, right? time because he's old he can't move cinder blocks for feet come on give me a break cinder blocks for feet i just told you they played matthews crowder and Ingles at the same Team time cinder block. <laughs> That's, kevin <laughs> love kevin love the night before the game dreamt that he's like he's <laughs> salivating please, please, please put them out there at the same time i'll feel like it's 2015 all over again <laughs>